Speaker of the National Assembly, Raphael Trotman, wants the appeal court to settle the nagging issue of jurisdiction as it relates to the powers of the High Court to inquire into the operations and conduct of Parliament. Trotman believes the time has come for the pronouncement, which could avoid wasting the court's time in future deliberations. Again, I'm asking the court, what are the protocols if and when you end up in court? It, but it can't be for everything that we, committees, budget, ROE, withdraw. But we just seem to be using the courts now as if it is the supervising authority of the National Assembly, and that is not so. Um, I'm not saying that we don't give respect to courts, but certainly it can't be that they that we're the children here and, and they're the parent and they will tell us how to behave and what to do and what decisions to make here. So that is a matter I believe that needs further definition and clarification and um, I will be asking the lawyers to have that matter f further clarified in the Court of Appeal. On the issue of Justice Ian Chang's ruling on Minister Clement Roy's gag order, Trotman says while he respects Justice Chang's counsel, the ruling revealed some gray areas since the submissions that were submitted by Attorney General Alan Nandal were flawed. I just thought that I would point out some inaccuracies, which um, obviously crept into the mind of the, the learned Chief Justice on page 10, for example, he says the Speaker allowed the motion to be debated well, this is another one, despite objection from the government side of the National Assembly. It's almost as if because the government objects, as of right, I have to accept their objections. That's another one that, that um, caused me some, some disquiet. But um, page 12, it says, Minister Ho Rohi himself was not allowed to speak on the motion to prevent him from speaking in the National Assembly. That's, that's the Chief Justice. Um, that's the Chief Justice. And, in the submissions of the learned attorney general, he did list that as one of the things that... Trotman, who also chairs the Committee of Privileges, told reporters that that body will be meeting soon to discuss the issue at length, with the aim of finding an early resolution. The minister himself is not the subject of any proceedings before the Committee of Privileges. He is, in fact, a member of the committee. I expect him to appear and to sit and to participate if he so desires in the committee. He is not brought up on any indictment or any charge or any allegations made against him because, as I indicated at the beginning of my statement, the, mo the motion brought by Mr. Granger in uh, July call on the president to do something it never demanded or requested Mr. Rohi to do anything at all. The National Assembly is expected to reconvene on January 25th. For Capital News, Leroy Adolphus reports.